Aromatase Excess Syndrome, Wikipedia Article Audio Aromatase Excess Syndrome, also sometimes referred to as familial hyperestrogenism or familial gynecomastia, is a rare genetic and endocrine syndrome which is characterized by an overexpression of aromatase, the enzyme responsible for the biosynthesis of the estrogen sex hormones from the androgens, in turn resulting in excessive levels of circulating estrogens and, accordingly, symptoms of hyperestrogenism. It affects both sexes, manifesting itself in males as marked or complete phenotypical feminization and in females as hyperfeminization. To date, 30 males and 8 females with ease among 15 and 7 families, respectively, have been described in the medical literature. Signs and Symptoms Cause Observed physiological abnormalities of the condition include a dramatic overexpression of aromatase and, accordingly, excessive levels of estrogens including estrone and estradiol and a very high rate of peripheral conversion of androgens to estrogens. In one study, cellular aromatase mRNA expression was found to be at least 10 times higher in a female patient compared to the control and the estradiol-slash-testosterone ratio after an injection of testosterone in a male patient was found to be 100 times greater than the control. Additionally, in another study, androstenedione, testosterone, and dihydrotestosterone were found to be either low or normal in males, and follicle-stimulating hormone levels were very low, whereas luteinizing hormone levels were normal. According to a recent review, estrone levels have been elevated in 17 of 18 patients, while estradiol levels have been elevated only in 13 of 27 patients. As such, estrone is the main estrogen elevated in the condition. In more than half of patients, circulating androstenedione and testosterone levels are low to subnormal. The ratio of circulating estradiol to testosterone is greater than 10 in 75% of cases. FSH levels are said to be consistently low in the condition, while LH levels are in the low to normal range. It is notable that gynecomastia has been observed in patients in whom estradiol levels are within the normal range. This has been suggested to be due to in situ conversion of adrenal androgens into estrone and then estradiol in breast tissue. The symptoms of ease, in males, include heterosexual precocity, severe prepubertal or peripubertal gynecomastia, high pitched voice, sparse facial hair, hypogonadism, oligospermia, small testes, micropenis advanced bone maturation, an earlier peak height velocity, and short final stature due to early epiphyseal closure. The incidence of gynecomastia appears to be 100%, with 20 of 30 male cases opting for mastectomy according to a review. In females, symptoms of ease include isosexual precocity, macromastia, an enlarged uterus, menstrual irregularities, and, similarly to males, accelerated bone maturation and short final height. Of seven females described in one report, three had macromastia. A 10-year-old girl with gigantomastia has subsequently also been described. Diagnosis Fertility though usually affected to one degree or another especially in males is not always impaired significantly enough to prevent sexual reproduction, as evidenced by vertical transmission of the condition by both sexes. The root cause of ease is not entirely clear, but it has been elucidated that inheritable, autosomal dominant genetic mutations affecting CYP19A1, the gene which encodes aromatase, are involved in its etiology.
Different mutations are associated with differential severity of symptoms, such as mild to severe gynecomastia. Treatment Several treatments have been found to be effective in managing ease, including aromatase inhibitors and gonadotropin-releasing hormone analogs in both sexes, androgen replacement therapy with non-aromatizable androgens such as DHT in males, and progestogens in females. In addition, male patients often seek bilateral mastectomy, whereas females may opt for breast reduction if warranted. Medical treatment of ease is not absolutely necessary, but it is recommended as the condition, if left untreated, may lead to excessively large breasts, problems with fertility, and an increased risk of endometriosis and estrogen-dependent cancers such as breast and endometrial cancers later in life. At least one case of male breast cancer has been reported. It has been hypothesized that the pharaoh Akhenaten and other members of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt may have suffered from ease. Akhenaten and his relatives, including men and young girls, many of whom were the product of inbreeding, are described as having breasts and wide hips, and Akhenaten was described as having a beautiful and feminine voice unusual physical features that could be explained by ease or another form of hereditary hyperestrogenism. Notable Cases Royal Diagnosis, Yale Alumni Magazine, a feminine physique, a long, thin neck and elongated head suggest Pharaoh Akhenaten had two rare disorders. <laughs>